Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today because, man, there are no consequences for anyone. Nobody. Nothing. Squatters are moving in everywhere right now. And uh, this is crazy. It's almost a funny video because it's so crazy. It's so unbelievable. But it's all true. And I've got all the stories below to, sh to show you. So comment in the video. Let me know what you think about this. Um, like, subscribe. Plus, we have a sponsor today, Alaska Energy Metals. But let's get right into it. Think about what I'm about to tell you. And uh, to give you guys an idea, I am at the beautiful M Casino today. And uh, this is nice. And it is 108 degrees outside. Beautiful. The pool is just surrounded by people getting themselves set up. And I'd love to film that out there for you. But uh, it's hot, okay? And there's music blasting, too. Um, but... In Astoria, New York, Queens area of New York, there is a Rite Aid and that closed down recently in the last two years. And another business took it over and, you know, used it temporarily for, you know, as a sublease. And then they finally moved out, you know, the first part of the year and the building changed ownership. But squatters moved into the Rite Aid and they are living there and they have turned this place completely upside down to where... <laughs> They have lit in fires inside the building. They have hung, uh, you know, the Mexican flag, Puerto Rican flag, the um, uh, different countries. Just there's a bunch of them. You can read it. But it's crazy because they're a drunken booze hound festival. And it was great. That's what got me into the story was they use my favorite word, booze hound. And uh, these guys are just completely running amok in that area. Now, the neighbors are like, hey, we pay taxes here. We want these guys out. Well, no, they, nobody cares about this. There are no consequences to anybody that does anything wrong right now. That's the problem with this world. The world is completely upside down, and you let people overtake an old uh, Rite Aid. Now, here's the thing. The cops are doing nothing about this. Here's the most wild part about this. This recently sold, the building did, to a new owner, and he says, yeah, right, it's kind of complicated right now because of their bankruptcy. But the guy just paid $11.1 .1 $1 million for the building, and he's got all these losers living there. Okay? Isn't that wild to think about? So there's that. Now, this problem has only gotten worse. In the Beverly Hills area, there is a house that is down the street from LeBron James. And squatters have overtaken, and you can read the story below, it's known as the party house. The party house has all these squatters that go there and don't own anything, don't rent anything, don't pay for anything, and they have parties all the time. And so much so that they print flyers and they have people show up uh, whenever they want to, uh, um, to you know, live their best life out there, you know, down the street from LeBron James. The owner of the building was a doctor who was about to be sentenced for a crime and, uh, you know, or excuse me, he was indicted on a crime, wasn't gonna be sentenced, and fled. So the building is just vacant. You know, ownership in question, and you have all these parties there. But when does this stuff end, guys? Because this is just, it just escalates from here. And there was another group of squatters that were in a home in Pennsylvania and uh, you know what, we don't have electricity. So they just started lighting fires to cook their Chef Boyardee uh, ravioli in the living room. And what do you know, fire started and they had to call the cops and there was nothing but problems. I mean, guys, this gets crazy at some point. So you have people risking the safety of the neighborhood and people around them, and that's that. Nobody does anything about this. Wh whatever happened to this? Because again, I'm telling you guys, um, I grew up in a different group of, with a different group of people. My dad was a really no nonsense guy that would have done something about this. And I can't imagine these people that own places like this that don't do anything about this. That, that's just me. Now, the Rite Aid, crazy. Hanging flags, spray paint in the building, people getting high all day and night. Just a big, big party. Now, here's the problem with retail establishments, big ones like that. A lot of times, people will go out and you'll, they'll keep the electricity on. 
So these people break into a building and they've got light, okay? Got a good life, man. It's all you need, okay? So there's that. Now, another one, um, the squatters that were in uh, Fraser, and that is in, let's make sure I get the state, right? Um, Tennessee, Fraser, Tennessee, this is awesome. These guys took over a house, stole the electricity from the power company, and run a chop shop to, uh, you know, work on cars and to, they've stolen cars. And in addition to that, they uh, go out and, you know, you can buy parts, you can show them. They have a business out of a house that they're squatting in. What do, don't, don't you guys have rules in Tennessee for a building permit and for business license? Hey, what are you guys doing here? No, 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 no. Don't disturb these people. The people that own the property, they're stuck. They're absolutely stuck. So this finally got people's attention as I walk around the outside of this beautiful hotel trying to stay in the shade. The place is just beautiful. It's really nice, guys. Lots of restaurants, great place to eat. It's just beautiful, it really is. So this is uh, off of St. Rose Parkway. Basically, it's the first big hotel you come to when you come to Las Vegas area through the 15. The flights, still damaged, guys. Still, uh, you don't have flights that are coming in. The wild thing about this also is these flights that are out there, people are not getting refunds for canceled flights right now. We have no ability to refund you. So not everybody has any money, guys. Okay, which goes to this. Now, the next story is a woman, and I'll share the TikTok below. This woman went out and walked into her backyard and found... Uh, a homeless woman living in her daughter's playhouse. Now, what would you do? Okay, what would you do? W what are you doing here? Call the cops. Cops come out and she says, this is my home. I live here. I have the right to be here. Huh? What do you mean you have the right to be here? So she had to go out and the woman that owns the house needs to get herself a lawyer, la la lawyer, because she's doing this wrong. And, uh, the woman, the homeless woman, this is great. And I don't, I'm not laughing at, at uh, the situation. I'm laughing at how, how insane this is. The woman is now getting mail at the playhouse. Hey, did you guys get mail for me, Mary Beth? Uh, yeah, it's mine. What? So she's getting mail at the house. So again, guys, the uh, city said, well, you need to serve her with eviction papers. She doesn't have, guys, there's no running water. It's a kid's playhouse. That's, they call it a tree house because it's a few feet off the ground. And the fat woman's just sitting there, dangling her feet off the edge, opening her mail. And you can see this in the videos. L look at it below. It's crazy. So where do you, I mean, where do you draw the line, guys? Absolutely, where do you draw the line? So squatters have more rights. Florida is really one of the first states to do anything about this. But what's crazy is when you have lawlessness and you have it be condoned and there are no consequences, this is what you're going to have. That's why New York is such a mess. They seem to think that all these people are migrants that, they, that live there and don't speak English because people can't communicate with them when they go by. Oh, okay. Doesn't make it right, guys. Makes it worse, guys, because they think they can come here and do that. That's what's bad. So again, no consequences. Let me know what you think about all this stuff because it's crazy. Have you seen this? Have you ever, you guys ever get stories like this? Send them because they're, they're solid gold and people hear this stuff and they just cannot believe this. They cannot believe that this is true. They cannot believe that this is the situation, but Rite Aid, and again, a guy just paid this year in 2024, $11 million, $11.1 .1 million for that place. And he's got people living there uh, uh, spray paint in the place. So let me know what you think about all this. Let's talk about our sponsor, Alaska Energy Metals. Their ticker symbol is AKEMF. They are securing a mine in the Alaska area that is key to the critical metals in moving our country forward. Their main metal is nickel. Now, is nickel important? Absolutely. This company has a, found a mine that has a huge deposit of nickel 
and nickel is needed in every single EV car that's out there. In fact, you probably didn't know this, but there's 54 pounds of nickel in every EV car that's manufactured, all of them. In 2020, Elon Musk stepped forward and said, we need to start securing metals you know, directly in the United States because we're having problems getting them and sourcing them. So with that being said, it put the spotlight on where does nickel come from? The people here in the United States, we import 100% of our nickel. It comes from Indonesia, it comes from China, and it comes from Russia. Basically less than one half of 1% comes from the United States right now, but that's about to change with Alaska Energy Metals. Think about this, this is a stock that is incredibly cheap. Basically right now, the filming of this video, it's 11 cents a share, 11 cents. Now, they have spent a tremendous amount of money on exploration and the development of this company. Now, prior to 2008, they had spent $6 million in developing this land and a large investment was put into it and then the debacle and the financial crisis of 2008 hit and the property went back to the government. Greg Bashir is the CEO and he lives in Alaska. He went out and he stepped forward and they purchased uh, this company and started developing. Since then, they've spent another $6 million on the development of the land that's there. Now, the investors that are involved in this company, it's absolutely amazing. Think about this. In the last six months, since November of 2023, they had an investment round of 50 cents a share. They had one earlier in 2024 at 40 cents a share, 30 cents, down to 15 cents recently, and now the stock is basically 11 cents a share. And you can say, well, wow, it's going in the wrong direction. No, the company is worth more because of all the exploration that they've done. AKEMF is actually at a better position right now. So you guys wanted something different, here it is for you guys. When you think of everything that's used in the solar industry, nickel is used for connectivity, it's used to, uh, to promote components that attach to the roof. This is a product that you need to look at and this company is poised to absolutely take off. But take a look at it today, AKEMF, Alaska Energy Metals. You know, they've done so much right now as far as the exploration, they've done so much as far as securing a mine. Think about this, the mine that they have right now could have 5.8 billion pounds of nickel in it. This would be the mother load, guys. So you're about to experience something that could be absolutely huge and unbelievable, but you know, you guys have asked for different things. Nickel, it's different, guys. Take a look at Alaska Energy Metals today, and once again, their ticker symbol is AKEMF. I'm gonna finish this video with these last couple of stories. It's too hot out right now. Now, <laughs> a couple things. Um, two months ago, there was a woman that was found living inside of a sign of a family fair uh, store. Family fair is a uh, grocery store. And she lived in the sign. She set herself up to where she had electricity, she had a coffee pot, she had a job in a car, she parked in the parking lot, and finally they were doing construction on the, the building and found this woman living there. I mean, guys, this is insanity right now. This is insanity, and there are no consequences for this. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more of this beautiful casino, because man, it is really, really nice. This is really kind of high end, but uh, it's early here in the morning. So just a beautiful spot. But final, final story, and I, I threw this in because it was crazy. There was an ice cream truck that had an article written in the New York Post uh, a week ago talking about, hey, this ice cream truck is you know, overcharging people and charging way too much money for cones and for uh, its product. And I'm like, says who, okay? I mean, I'm in Las Vegas. You guys wanna eat a high-priced meal? This is the joint to do it at, you know what I mean? So with that being said, they had $14 waffle cones and bubblegum ice cream was really high. So you know what the neighbors did off Astoria Boulevard? Hmm, where have I heard that before? Oh yeah, those degenerates in the uh, Rite Aid. 
they lit the <laughs> they lit the ice cream truck on fire and the stories below. So this is a hit, man. These guys treated this place terribly. So one thing that's crazy about this place, it's it's a big Raider place, by the way, is you can rent these supercars here. So I won't be doing that anytime soon. So get yourself a Ferrari, guys. Okay. Please like, please subscribe, share your thoughts on this stuff. You get any squatter stories, you get any insane stories like that, let us know about this, Cuts, because this stuff is nuts. They have a really big Sunday brunch here that everybody comes out for. And uh, onward and upward, guys. Hello at iAllegedly.com. I'll see you guys very soon. I hope everybody's well.